Nice try, Ray Cobb inside. But here comes Epic now, pushing Tiger. Tiger goes to Spencer to the inside. Tiger on the inside. Epic tries to go round the outside. One corner to the go. Oh, the guy was down. This is going to be insane. So here comes Dutchie as well. Tiger is going to look like it's going to win, but it's a drag race for seconds. And somehow, oh, I, 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 Welcome back to another track guide here in Gavra Racing and uh, yeah welcome back to GT Sport once again and yeah I'm back with a glorious track guide um, in the group twos this time so we're going to be even quicker even speedier around these tracks and uh, I am going to be going in the Nissan uh, the GTR for this and yes there's usually three different types of cards that mostly everyone will be using um there may be a couple one or two people who will be using the 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 sort of the older cars but the everybody wanted to use the newer models which is the nissan gtr the lexus or the honda uh nsx so yeah let's uh, hop straight into this track guide around the wonderful nurburgring gp so let's get straight into it Okay, so here we go then, down into turn one. So the start finish line is actually around about there, uh, just behind me on that line. So it starts quite far back. The run down to turn one uh, here is pretty long. Uh, probably one of the main overtaking points on this track, if not the main overtaking point on this track. So breaking here just before the 100 meter border, around about where that tarmac ends, where the grass, uh, where the, the sort of the the grass over there starts on that left hand side if you can go a little bit later do so but obviously when the tires get older the braking zones on this track change so much under the tire wear and especially if you're running loads of fuel less fuel if you're following in the dirty air the, the braking zones change a lot on this track so just be wary of that when obviously when you're doing your laps um, in the race especially so down into turn one breaking it there turning the car in now sometimes it doesn't actually matter too much if you run wide on the exit of this corner you don't lose too much time that's the beauty of this corner you can run wide on the exit not have an issue but you want to be making sure you're pretty much hitting the apex on the inside here um, right down the center of the, the corner bringing the car out wide here uh, I stay in second. If you're in the Lexus, go to first to get the car turned in. But in the Nissan and the Honda, you can stay in second. Now, back up. You want to go into third a little bit here. Just pull the car in. But then shift back down into second. Hugging it across this curb here. And then the car will start to drift out wide. Now, the track limit here, you can go all the way out here. But if you have those two wheels on the left-hand side, if they go over that curb all, all the way onto this green part, you will get given a penalty for exceeding track limits. So just be wary of that. As you come down into the next corner, down into second, you will be here. Once again, bringing the car around over the curb, hitting the apex, back across here, a little bit of a lift through here, then back down, short shifting, and you can go all the way over here on your lap. The game allows you to pretty much go so wide over here on the exit. It's it's really, really nice. So head over this curb here. You can do that. The game will allow you to do that. That's not an issue. So down into the next corner. Breaking just as where the tarmac ends on that left-hand side, on that right-hand side, down into third. And once again, just clipping that apex on the inside. You'll be falling out to about mid-corner here. Now, it's difficult to find a breaking point on this track. I usually say around about here. So just where that, see where that curb starts? Like a cut, just a little bit after that. But it's where you're braking. Then bring the car out wide a little bit and then cut it back in for the apex. Now, the, the interesting thing about this corner is it seems like you can't get on the power 
as early as you think, but you actually can, because the track limit actually extends out wide. So you want to get on the power nice and early, and you can pull the car all the way out here on this curb. Not an issue at all. It's not, you know, F1. Um, you're allowed to do that. So yeah, down into this next corner. Start braking pretty much where that grey bit starts on that left-hand side. Um, break it down now into probably one of the trickiest corners on this track to get right. It seems like a simple hairpin, but to, to, to get the maximum amount of time out of it, you want to be doing a lot of things. So down into this corner, clip the first apex. So you want to double apex this corner. So clip the first apex, run wide through the center. So almost trail break into the entry, run wide into the center, and then pull the car back again on the exit for another apex. Bring the car out here under the advertising board. Now, oh, up through the Schumacher S's. This is completely flat out. All the way through here. Completely flat out. Um, you'll probably most likely be up into sit gear here. Now, braking just before the 100 meter ball. So, halfway between that grey bit, the behind us, and this green bit ahead of us. Braking and then. Shifting down into third gear, obviously use a bit of this green part here, bring the car across, cut over the inside curb there. If you run wide, it's fine. There's plenty of runoff over there. It's not an issue at all. Back once again into this next corner. If you feel like you're going to understeer wide, like if you're in the Lexus maybe, go to second. If you, if, if you can make the corner fine in third, you know, that, that, that's perfectly fine. You know, once again, pull the car in here, hit the apex, and then you can pull all the way out wide and use all of that curb. And then down this huge straight here, flat out through this corner, and then down into the really, really tricky saccane, which is, which in the race, this part is going to be the most crucial part. So you're either going to lose half a second or win half a second through here. Breaking. 100 meter board just but be, just before that 100 meter board there so about about on that 100 then break it in a straight line down into second now here's the beauty of this game and its track limits okay you can get away with cutting this much the game will allow you to do that so as long as you have two wheels on the curb you're fine so cut that much of the inside corner there once again this corner you can cut that much of the inside there the game will allow you to do that. Be careful on the exit of this corner. The rear will just start to wobble. It will it will seriously, seriously wobble. Short shift if you need to to third. That is crucial out of that corner. Now down into the final corner on this track. Be up into third. Breaking, going down into second. Bringing the car all the way over here for a late apex. So you can get a, a big run down the line and then all the way over to the outside here and then down to the line here in the Nürburgring GP. So yeah, that was the GP circuit and now I'm going to get straight into the hot lap.
So yeah, that was a track guide here around the wonderful Nurburgring GP. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, pop a like on this video as well. And uh, yeah, I hope this was all very helpful uh, for anyone watching. Uh, make sure you tune in for next week's uh, track guide, where we'll be back in the Group 2s once again. And uh, yeah, coming towards the end of the GT Sports season now, so uh, there's championships to be wrapped up. So uh, yeah, make sure you tune in for the GT Sport races on Friday at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in Europe. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see you all in the next track guide. Bye-bye.